Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, today in this video, we are talking about the benefits of a minivan camper or a small van, such as a converted cargo van, for boondocking and why they make incredible boondocking vehicles. I am going to go through this video based on my opinion and what I have learned throughout my three years of van life, uh, especially learning from those around me who might live in bigger rigs. I have a lot of features and uh, things to go through, so like this video, subscribe to my channel, and let's jump right in. One of the main benefits of a minivan camper or small van for boondocking is that they can fit anywhere. You can fit in national forests or maybe on a beach in an area where other huge rigs can't fit or it would be dangerous for them to try and do so. I have found so many tremendous spots because it's easy to pull my little van in tight fitting areas. I love the fact that I also am able to go further down roads and further into national forests than big RVs can. It allows me to find a lot of solitude and some really fantastic areas. Small vans are much easier to level than big rigs. I used to have plastic levelers, but for my tires now, I simply use two by fours. It's very inexpensive, very easy, and I throw them in my rooftop box. And the other thing is too, I have a no build minivan camper. So I have a bed platform that I can level as well. And just with some foam squares underneath. So small vans are much easier to get level overall. Another thing is if you have a minimalist or a simpler setup like I do, it is much easier to quickly pack up in case of an, of an emergency and you can easily leave. Uh, it could be any sort of emergency or for your personal safety or weather related. It's really easy to just throw all the stuff in the van and take off from the area that you're in. With an RV, it can take much longer and be much more difficult if you have to pack up in a hurry. Small vans are much easier to clean and maintain, and that goes for the interior and the exterior. Also in terms of maintenance, Plus, organizing is so much easier when you have a small space and you can redo it as many times as you want, and it's really not a huge project. Moving right along on our list, another benefit to having a small van for boondocking is you can easily move it from spot to spot or change directions of your van if you need to. I've done this too many times where I've parked and I'm like, oh, I don't like the angle my van's at, or I don't like the view, or I need to move it because of the sun, so I can just hop in the driver's seat and turn it around or move spots if I'm not happy. It doesn't take that much effort. Fuel efficiency is a great perk of having a small van for boondocking. Recently, uh, we were actually at Alamo Lake and it was a two and a half hour drive from Buckeye and there was literally one fuel station on the way where gas was a dollar more per gallon because it was like a super small town. And so with my fuel efficiency of the van, I was completely fueled up when I went to Alamo Lake and I didn't have to worry about getting gas there or on my way back because, well, I'm in a small van. So the bigger the rig, the less fuel efficiency. And so you can get where you're going and go many more places on less fuel, which means money in your pocket. Um, the gas mileage is better. You can travel at a, you know, normal or higher speed instead of having to go slow. Those are all really great perks of being in a small van. Also in terms of saving money, small vans are much easier to outfit. You have a smaller space to outfit and customize and accessorize, which means it's going to cost less. And in my case, I have a no build, so I literally spent probably a thousand dollars building, quote unquote, out my van initially. So it costs less to outfit, um, it's easier, and super easy to customize because you can get all sorts of van life parts and accessories, like let's say these heat shield window shades, um, for pretty much any van these days at a reasonable price. 
It's much easier to avoid getting stuck in mud or in sand if you have a smaller vehicle because they weigh less and you can often avoid questionable areas. I carry a shovel in case I do get stuck, but again, it's much easier to avoid in a small van. While there are so many benefits of a small van for boondocking when you're actually in the act of boondocking, whether that's uh, in national forest or on BLM land, you also have to travel to your destination, right? So there are so many benefits to having a minivan or a smaller van for actually traveling to your boondocking location, like being able to stealth camp. I have literally stealth camped like everywhere, residential neighborhoods, a bank parking lot, a hotel parking lot, streets of California. I have stealth camped everywhere. I've actually never gotten a knock before. So it is much easier to stealth camp when you are in a small van. Um, furthermore, it's easy to find a parking space, not only for stealth camping, but even if you're just fueling up or want to stop for food, it's much easier to travel to your boondocking location. <sighs> when you are in a smaller vehicle. I was also thinking about the fact that I really like to spend my summers in northern Arizona or in areas where there are big trees. And it's much easier to pull into a shaded spot or to find a spot kind of deeper into a forest if you're in a small van. I also notice that the further you are, like down a dirt road, let's say on BLM land, the less uh, rigs there are because it's much harder to travel further on dirt roads, forest roads, gravel roads if you're in a big RV or camper or towing. So just the driving and the travel and fitting into nice shaded spots um, is really a huge benefit for a minivan camper um, or other small conversion. There are sometimes really packed areas too, especially like in the summer or on holiday weekends, and there might only be a couple of spots left, and maybe they're small spots because big rigs can't fit in them. So you might be able to get a better spot or one of a few leftover spots if you're in a smaller rig. I also wanna remind you guys that I have my new logo adventuring with Amanda stickers and it has my my old logo didn't have my rooftop box and so I have my rooftop box and I have little Winston in the passenger seat so I have my stickers available the link is in the description they're only five dollars and these are bigger than my original stickers as well they're about three and a half inches by two inches so they're great size I've gotten a ton of orders already I'm so grateful thank you so much I will be adding other merchandise to my store here soon but grab yours because shipments are going out every single week and uh, right now I have a limited quantity left so make sure that you click the link below to grab your sticker for only five bucks and free shipping a massive perk to having a small van if you are boondocking is if something happens like let's say you get locked out of your vehicle if you have a tire crisis you know a flat tire um, if something happens with your engine or you know you have a maintenance issue even though sometimes roadside assistance won't come out to like BLM land just depending on where you're at they are much more likely to come assist you if you're in a regular vehicle it's uh it's much easier for roadside assistance companies and insurance and AAA to help you and more likely that they'll be able to help you if you are in a mainstream type of van rather than an RV. Now, of course, you can get RV coverage and uh, assistance uh, plans for RVs in case of these types of scenarios, but it can be a lot more difficult for them to come out to you to help you and it can take a lot more time. So it is ultimately easier to get assistance with your vehicle in a pinch if you are in a small van. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I surely appreciate you. 
like this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I also want you to let me know in the comments some perks that you can think of in terms of boondocking and have a, having a smaller vehicle. Um, it's really come in handy for me a lot of the time, and I feel like the possibilities are so endless in terms of where I can go, what I can do, where I can park, and how easy it is to get there when I'm on a new adventure. So thank you again, and I will see you next time.